Welcome dear learners. My name is Dr. Smith Prasad and I am your course coordinator for this course on Microeconomics for Business. In this session, we will be discussing about Elasticity of Demand. In the previous session, we have understand the concept of demand, law of demand and various functions, various variables that are affecting demand in an economy. Now, we have studied about demand and the relationship between price and demand and other variables with demand but but still we have to explore that in uh, that what is the effect of income over demand what is the amount of effect of price on demand and that is why we have to understand the concept of elasticity of demand and as the name suggests elasticity of demand it means that change in demand it means the elasticity which is the existing in demand now demand is varying because of price because of income and because of other commodities that are affecting the demand of a particular commodity. That is why the elasticity of demand is sub-categorized or sub-classified into three sections. These are price elasticity of demand, cross elasticity of demand and income elasticity of demand. Now, proceeding further with price elasticity of demand, what is price elasticity of demand? As the name indicates, price elasticity of demand it means that elasticity in demand which is created due to the price of that particular commodity as we have mentioned in the definition of demand or the function of demand that demand is a function of its own price price of other goods such as substituting goods or complementary goods it is a uh, it is affected by the income of uh, consumer or customer and it is affected by taste and preferences and advertisement now this is the effect which is created by the own price of a particular commodity. Now, how do we calculate this price elasticity of demand? The price elasticity of demand is simply calculated by calculating the percentage change in the quantity divided by percentage change in the particular price of that commodity. It means that if a commodity is earlier selling at a price of rupees 60 or a particular commodity is selling at a price of 60 rupees per unit. And at the particular price, suppose the quantity demanded of that commodity is 140 units. And what then what will happen if the price of that commodity will move towards rupees 40 per unit or it moves towards rupees 80 per unit? If it moves towards rupees 80 per unit, then we know that considering the inverse relationship between demand and price, then the, if the price moves towards 80 rupees per unit from 60 rupees per unit, then the commodity demanded would be reduced and if the price will go in the uh, for, uh, downward direction which means that it will move towards 140 rupees per unit from 60 rupees per unit then the quantity demand will be increased now let me uh, elaborate this concept of price elasticity of demand with the help of an example suppose situation one the price of a commodity is 60 rupees per unit and the quantity demanded was 120 rupees uh, sorry 120 commodities has been demanded at this price at a price of rupees 60 per unit now case 2 when the price has been reduced to 40 rupees per unit from 60 rupees per unit then as we are aware of the fact that price and quantity are having an inverse relationship this means that with the fall of price the quantity demanded has been increased and say suppose it has been increased to 160 units demand of 160 units it means that with the fall of price the quantity demanded has been increased now for calculating price elasticity of demand as it has been it will be denoted by last ep so price elasticity of demand will be calculated as percentage change in the price divided by percentage sorry percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price so what is the percentage change in quantity 160 minus 120 divided by 120 divided by this entire figure has to divided by percentage change in price a percentage change in price is 60 minus 40 upon 60 so we will calculate it uh, 40 divided by 120 divided by 20 divided by 60 so upon calculating this figure we will be able to calculate the price elasticity of demand for this particular scenario now 
upon calculation upon making this calculation how do we depict that what is the status of price elasticity of demand see upon calculating these values upon calculating these values we'll be uh, we'll be encountering five situations uh, which means that uh, we'll be having five types of result upon calculating the price elasticity of demand these five situations are suppose value of price elasticity of demand would be greater than 1 greater than 1 it means that the calculated value was greater than 1 it means that when the value is greater than 1 it is it is a situation which is known as elastic demand it means that the commodity is elastic in nature which means that returning back to the demand curve which means that due to the change in price the quantity demanded change is very much progressive it means that for a very slight change in price see for a very slight change in price this is the this is price one and this is quantity demanded one now see we say that there is a fall in price from p1 to p2 the intensity of this fall in price is this much whereas the change in quantity demanded is greater than the change in price this means that this particular commodity is an elastic commodity because the change in quantity is faster than the change in then the percentage change in price and these type of commodities are known as elastic commodities now the second situation arises when we say that a commodity when we say that the value of price elasticity of demand the value of price elasticity of demand is less than 1 it means that the situation where value of ep is less than 1 so the this is the situation this situation arises again returning back to the demand curve this situation arises when we say that the slope of demand curve is very high now understanding this demand curve say this is a demand curve one now see this is price p1 at price p1 the quantity demanded is q1 at price p1 the quantity demanded is q1 whereas with the change in price of a commodity the change in quantity is very less now it is a reverse situation of elastic demand where the change was price was less than the change in quantity uh, then the percentage change in quantity but in this scenario in the scenario of inelastic demand the change the percentage change in price is greater than the percentage change in quantity so such type of commodities are known as inelastic commodities let me explain you with this example suppose we earn a, a salary of rupees 10000 rupees per month and our salary is divided into various household expenditure some household expenditure are our necessity expenditure some household expenditures are our luxury expenditures suppose we say that uh, uh, bringing bread and milk and uh, uh, daily food items is our necessity goods that we have to ex uh, we have to spend our money on those commodities by hook or by crook or if we desire or if we do not desire it means that those commodities are inelastic in nature because they are independent not exactly independent but they have very less effect they are, they have very less effect of change in price or quantity means if the price change there is there is uh, there is literally very minute or very slight change in the quantity demanded if we under, if we explain this graph with another situation if price of the commodity rises suppose for a necessity good if a price of a commodity rises from p1 to p3 see then in normal circumstances we would have obtained a situation when there was a large dip in the quantity demanded but here the situation is not like that see the the rise in price is very high but the change in quantity is very less it means that it means that necessity goods are those goods which are more or less ineffective or inelastic towards the percentage change in price now the third situation arises in which the price elasticity of demand will be having a value which is equivalent to 1 which means 
value of ep is equals to 1 now this is a situation where the commodity is unitary elastic for a particular commodity for a particular price so the graph for this unitary elastic curve will be a rectangular hyperbola now this is a rectangular hyperbola because under rectangular hyperbola the total revenue earned by total revenue would be equal in each circumstances for example if we say that the price is 6 and the quantity demanded is 2 but later on when the price has been dropped to 2 the quantity demanded has been increased to 6 now total revenue total revenue is a function of price multiplied by quantity price multiplied by quantity so in this in this situation if we say for this first case we multiply this price of rupees 6 with quantity demanded 2 then we get a total revenue of 6 to the 12 so the total revenue would be 12 but on the on the other side if the price has been reduced to 2 and the quantity demanded has been has been increased to 6 and in this situation if you multiply this price and this quantity then again you will be getting a value of total revenue value of rupees uh, sorry total revenue of 12 it means that in both the situation the total revenue that we are earning is equal and that is why this rectangular hyperbola situation is used to define this unitary elastic product it means that unitary elastic product are moving similarly in this over this entire Curve. Now the next situation arises for two extreme cases. The two extreme cases will be now let me come again with the formula. See the formula of price elasticity or demand is percentage change in price, sorry, percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. Now percentage change in quantity divided by percentage change in price. Suppose a situation arises where there is no change in the quantity of a commodity ha. irrespective of the fact that whatever may be the change in price have, have, you, have you ever seen such type of situation where, where the quantity the, where the movement of a com uh, commodity is irrespective of the movement of price yes there is a situation which is known as necessity uh, medicines or life saving drugs suppose uh, we are if we take the example of covid period in that situation we irrespective of everything we are spending our entire money over the life saving drugs this is the similar situation where irrespective of change in the price of a particular commodity the quantity demanded does not changes and in the situation the numerator factor will always have a zero irrespective of the factor irrespective of the fact that what would be the value at denomination at denominator that's why this situation is known as perfectly inelastic situation a perfectly inelastic situation is a situation in which movement of yeah or the percentage change in price is sorry percentage change in quantity is irrespective of percentage change in price so the question arises how do we uh, how do we uh, prepare the graph for this situation now see if we say this is price and if we say this is quantity and we are saying that there would be no change in the quantity demanded so the curve would be a vertical line it means that irrespective of the change in price the quantity demanded of the commodity remains the same price is increasing but the quantity demanded is still q1 at price this quantity is q1 at price this q1 p1 p2 p3 at every price the quantity demanded is constant and this is the situation which is known as perfectly inelastic demand now suppose a situation arises where there is a where without a change of a particular price the quantity demanded uh, uh, the elasticity of price will change is there any situation arise uh, can there any situation arise in such type of uh, scenario yes it may arise when there is no change in the price and as a result of which as a result of which whatever may be the numerator value if the denominator value becomes zero then this value became infinite 
and then when this situation became infinite then we call the situation as a perfectly elastic demand a perfectly elastic demand is a demand in which price elasticity of demand is infinite then the question arises how do we prepare this graph now again price and quantity in the previous situation we have prepared a vertical graph and in this situation the graph would be a horizontal graph this can be explained in further chapters uh, in which we will be discussing about a perfect competition market and other type of market then we'll take up this situation and explain it further now proceeding with elasticity of demand the another important thing that we have to discuss is methods for calculating this price elasticity of demand now there are two type two methods the first one is percentage method which i already have explained you the percentage change in the quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price and the second method is midpoint method now why do we why do we require this midpoint method why do we need to go towards this uh, midpoint method so the next concept of uh, elasticity of demand is cross elasticity of demand now as the name indicates cross elasticity it means that it is a elasticity between two different types of commodity which means that effect of price or effect of a price change of a commodity on the demand of another commodity now how do we calculate this uh, cross elasticity of demand the coefficient of cross elasticity of demand of x for y which means that due to the change in the price of commodity y the change in the demand of commodity x would be calculated as percentage change in quantity of x divided by percentage change of uh, percentage change of price of y it means that if there are two market two commodities which are existing in the market this is commodity x and if you say there is another commodity which is known as y if we say that there are two types of commodity which are existing in the market and this is the demand curve for commodity x and this is the demand curve for commodity y this is the price and quantity for commodity x and this is the price and quantity for commodity y py qy and if we say that there is a fall in the price of commodity y it means that price falls for this commodity y from this point to py2 qy2 so now there arises the situation where the where the fall in the price of this commodity will affect the quantity of this commodity now from this point of uh, from this point that there, there arises two situation the first situation says that this is a supplementary good of or substituting good for commodity y which says that x is a substituting good for y in a case if x is a substituting good of y then due to the fall in the price of y all those people who are using commodity x for a particular reason will find out that the price of this commodity has been has been moved toward downward direction and they start moving they start moving from this commodity to this commodity and that's why and that's why this fall in price results into this increase in quantity demanded and as a result of which this demand curve will shift in inward direction and this demand curve will shift in inward direction as a result of which the early at earlier price the quantity demanded for this commodity has been reduced to q x 2 this why this happened this happened because this price has been reduced this price has been reduced and this is a substituting good for the commodity y now for another situation where these commodities are complementary goods commodity x and y they both are complementary goods in such a situation if the price of commodity y reduces which indicates that the quantity demanded for commodity y has been increased for qy1 to qy2 but if this is a complementary good and we know that complementary good moves together then as a result of it the demand curve the earlier demand curve will shifts in outward direction and and at the same price of commodity x the quantity demanded has been increased to qx3 now this is a situation for a complementary good and this is a situation for substituting good and this is how a cross elasticity of demand affect affect each other which means that price change of a particular commodity affect the demand of a particular commodity 
we can understand with the example for example we are having in a uh, suppose we say uh, industry uh, automobile industry we are having various uh, various vehicles uh, say if we say in a segment of suv we have creta we have saltos we have harrier we have high rider then what can consumer do they can they can buy any of these commodity see all those commodities are substituting goods they all are having their own price curve they are sorry their demand curve and at a particular point point of time there is a change in price of a commodity say suppose creta creta announces a discount of rupees 1 lakh as a result of which the other the substituting goods the consumer who are, who are buying this substituting goods will shift towards a commodity which is giving them a discount or which will reduce the price for the consumer and this is how cross cross elasticity of demand is taking place in the economy now the third variable of elasticity of demand is income elasticity of demand and as the name suggest income it means that the change in percentage change in demand of a particular commodity which is arises due to percentage change in the purchase percentage change in the income of a household or a individual which means that as a result of the increase in income what is the what is the change in purchase of goods of that particular person this this can uh, this can also be this can be understood with the value of elasticity the value of elasticity for income elasticity of demand is uh, there are two two basic determinant factors for identifying the income elasticity of demand there are two important points where we can define the income elasticity of demand see there two situation arises at first situation income elasticity <coughs> value of income elasticity is zero and on the other hand value of income elasticity is one when the value of income elasticity is zero it means that from this point onwards we are having two options the first option is <coughs> value would be less than zero another option is value would be greater than zero when the value would be greater than zero then it is known as income elastic which means that it is a situation where we are having commodity which are known as normal goods and a situation where the value of income elasticity is less than 1 and income elasticity is greater than 1 when the value is less than 1 it means that these are the commodities which are inferior good because they are inelastic because they are inferior uh, uh, because they are inferior in nature we are a consumer is consuming those goods because he or she is not able to go towards normal goods or luxury goods and on the other hand where the value of income elasticity is greater than 1 it means that these are the commodities which are normal goods in nature these are the goods which are normal goods in nature and these are the commodities which are inferior goods as the income of a particular consumer increases the consumer start uh, first they start increasing its usage and then later on it will start reducing its usage if we draw a income consumption curve for a uh, for a inferior good then it can be can be drawn as like this see this is income and this is quantity with the increase of income of a comp with the increase of income of a household first they increase the consumption of that particular commodity and later on the the uh, the demand for that particular commodity falls why falls this can be explained with the help of an example a say a situation where we are consuming then we are consuming uh, vanaspati ghee or we are using refined oil in our uh, home for daily purposes but later on when our income starts increasing then we start we may start the usage of that particular commodity to a particular point of time later on when we find out then now we are earning a handsome amount as a result of which we can shift towards more healthier oil or towards uh, something which is more healthy or which is uh, more beneficiary or more luxury uh, oriented toward for us then we start reducing the consumption of that same commodity as a result of which the demand that the earlier demand for inferior good rises with the increase in the income but later on this demand fall with the increase of income and these types of, of goods are known as inferior goods whereas normal goods are those goods which are which are required uh, whose elasticity varies as we have discussed earlier in the first part now the another situation is where the elastic income elasticity uh, value is equals to 1 
from this point we can uh, we can deduce that a situation where the value of income velocity is greater than 1 and another situation where the income velocity is less than 1 when the income velocity is less than 1 when the income velocity is less than 1 it is a situation which are known as necessity goods that i have already explained you earlier in this uh, session and the another commodities where value of income velocity is greater than 1 are known as luxury goods these are the goods which are consumed as and when required with the increase of income if income increases income may be real income or nominal income as and when income increases we start consuming these goods more and as and when income reduces we start uh, consuming less of these commodity considering ceteris paribus and that's how upon completion of this section we are able to understand price elasticity of demand there are two methods for measurement of price elasticity of demand the first method is percentage method that i have already explained you and the other approach for calculating price elasticity of demand is midpoint method in positive method what we have done we have we have used uh, initial price minus final price divided by initial price whereas in the midpoint method we do not uh, we do not divide it by initial price what do we do we take an average of initial price and final price and then uh, we divide the value by the average price that has been calculated by initial price and final price now proceeding further with the determinants of price elasticity of demand See, the price elasticity of demand is affected by various variables. As I have already told you that availability of substitute. When a substitute is available in the market, then there is chances of shifting of a, uh, of a consumer from one commodity to another commodity. And it is very quick. And that's why we have even seen a price elasticity of demand, infinite price elasticity of demand, perfectly, perfectly elastic commodity. Because the commodities that are available in the market are some or less equally substitute of each other for example maggi and yippy they are equally substitute for each other and that's how a slight variation in a price of a particular commodity will result in shifting of a uh, in shifting of a consumer from one commodity to another commodity the next variable that affect the price elasticity of demand is uh, proportion of consumers income uh, proportion of consumer income that which he or she is spending on a purchase of a particular product that I have already explained to you that there are two kinds of products which are necessity commodities and luxury commodities. Necessity commodities are those commodities which are irrespective of the income of the consumer. If he is earning 10,000 rupees or 7,000 rupees or 12,000 rupees, he or she will be spending the same amount every month, every week, every year on particular commodity which are known as necessity goods. Whereas some luxury goods such as television, such as clothes, the purchase of such types of commodity are more elastic in nature more elastic in nature because they are affected by variation of price very easily now the next variable that affect the price elasticity of demand is usage of a particular commodity for example if we if we uh, if we talk about milk milk in a family is a very important uh, is a very important commodity which has been used for every family member and suppose a situation arises when milk became costlier then we'll categorize we'll prioritize the usage of milk suppose in a family if you're having a infant will be having a, a senior a senior person who is uh, ill also and a, a young a young person then we'll prioritize the usage of milk for feeding a baby then for a person who is uh, who is ill or who is very senior and then then we'll give it to a person who is young in Okay. This is the this is priority which we set with the price of a particular and on the on the contrary if the price of milk fall or it goes down then we'll start using milk for other uh, uh, other purposes also for example we'll start using milk for for curd for buttermilk and even for ghee and that's how the number of usages define the price elasticity of demand of a particular commodity and similarly complementary goods complementary goods also affect the price elasticity of a demand suppose if the price of a particular commodity falls then it affect the demand of another commodity also